Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below, your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly for pricing. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a 36mm Rolex Oyster Perpetual Datejust, a combination of white gold bezel and 904L steel case and bracelet. This is reference 116234. 36 millimeters in diameter, the original Datejust case size, coined with the first model back in 1945. It is 11.5 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 44.3 millimeters if we include the end links of the Oyster style bracelet. The absolute distance across the wrist is 45.5 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Zoom out a bit. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and it wears well. I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters in circumference. It's a viable unisex option, but remember, Churchill himself wore the 36 millimeter Datejust, so it is the man that makes the watch, not the other way around. If you've got a big wrist, this watch still has the panache to keep up. The timepiece is flat with a conical bezel. It will slide easily underneath the dress cuff, and while this could be a dress watch, the particular configuration here with a loomed dial and an oyster bracelet means that this is a sportier take on the Datejust 36. Taking a quick look at the bracelet, I mentioned it's sporty. The Oyster bracelet is one of the reasons. You'll see it on the Explorers, Explorer 2s, Sea Dwellers, GMTs, and Daytonas. It's a three-link design that's handsomely tapered with polished centers, polished outer faces, satin-finished shoulder profiles, and then removable links fixed by screws. The clasp, as you can see here, is of heavy-gauge steel, and it features a lift-lock system internally. So there's a beak and a hook, and you can see the beak, and you can see the hook, and these two things latch, and it stays shut. You can't actually just pull it open. You do you need to unlatch it. There's an element of security there that's not evident at first glance. The watch includes the Rolex Easy Link system. It's five millimeters of tool-free adjustment. You can take it in or take it out without a tool. It's the equivalent of adding or removing one full-sized sizable link. And then I'll do my best to show you this. Inside, there are three divots drilled inside the clasp, and you can use your strap tool to change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside those three divots so you can move it back and forth. So you can remove links, you can use Easy Link, and you can change the divot mounting of the bracelet to adjust size. Rolex makes its own bracelets, clasps, and cases. It has its own foundry where it makes the gold, the platinum, and the steel for these watches. So not only is it making the entire casing and bracelet, but it's even making the alloys themselves. 904L steel is used by Rolex, is more resistant to corrosion and need not be rinsed after seawater exposure. Gray gold, which is the 18 karat white gold alloy that Rolex uses here on this fluted bezel, it is white gold all the way through. Unlike conventional white gold, there's no milky yellow substrate and it doesn't show a different color if it gets scratched. As a result, it never needs to be rhodium plated. Twin lock crown, screw down, 100 meter water resistance here. We have a silver Rolex wave dial. Now, normally the wave dial includes only the image of ripples of sand across the ocean bottom. Here, we also have what appears to be a little bit of a hybrid of the wave dial and the Jubilee dial with the Rolex logo waxing and waning in scale, melded with the wave profiles. We also have gem set white gold Arabic numerals 6 and 9 with white gold Rolex crown, white gold hands, and white gold luminescent indices. We have a Cyclops eye magnifier, and the watch includes caliber 3135, a manufacture movement inside. It includes a hacking seconds function, so you can stop the watch and set it to a reference time. A quick set date system, so you can reset the date with the turn of the crown. And then the 100 meter water resistant movement is a bi-directional winder with a 48 hour power reserve. Beats away at eight beats per second or 28,800 vibrations per hour, 31 joule movement, full balance bridge with a free sprung balance for shock tolerance and precise adjustment. It has a parachrom blue niobium zirconium anti-magnetic hairspring. And then that hairspring is an overcoil profile, a Breguet overcoil made by hand that allows the watch to keep even time regardless of its position with respect to gravity, helping it to earn a COSC chronometer certification. Rolex goes one step further and takes the chronometer certified movement cases it up and then tests it in six positions as a fully cased watch to ensure it runs no worse than minus two plus two seconds per 24 hours which is better than the COSC's minus four plus six and that is why Rolex dubs these superlative chronometers and you will note speaking of superlative chronometer just how spare the actual printing on the dial is aside from the 
Rolex name itself, you don't have the book printed on this dial the way you normally do on a conventional Datejust Sub, GMT, Oyster Perpetual, Explorer, or other Rolex model family. There's Rolex and then nothing else, not even a notation of Swiss manufacture, making this a precious, rare, and frankly, quirky and appealing take on the classic Rolex style design. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Datejust Wave Dial by Night. 